it's me Jess welcome to my channel I'm here today with another message this is a specific message so it might resonate with your situation or it might not okay so I have I feel stuck love will keep us together my intentions can be selfish at times so I'm picking up on a person here that you might have felt was your wish fulfillment in the past I definitely think this person felt like you were a wish fulfillment to them and they were trying to get you to believe in them like in the past but it was kind of an unjustified belief that this person was trying to drum up in you it's like they were trying to pull the wool over your eyes in some way and get you to believe in a false version of them that was better than what was actually going on here because I feel like this person is a trickster in some way or they are they're a phony it was just an illusion whatever it was that they were trying to get you to believe in so because this was built on a false foundation it was a lie essentially from the start I think some kind of situation happened here that felt like backstabbing to you and it feels very karmic, honestly. Like when you think back to this person, you probably think that they are a karmic to you. Um, it caused a lot of pain. There could have been, it revealed whatever their deception was. And I just think that it's this person is, they're not, they're shady. Um, I do feel though that this person does have a lot of what they would call love towards you. I think there's a strong feeling towards you. There's a lot of admiration. I mean, this person really does hold you in like some kind of high honor. Um, there's a lot of respect to you. And again, we have that energy of like love will keep us together. But I just want to point out like the energy that I'm picking up on here in these cards. It's really not the true energy of love. And I think that's probably indicative of the way this person has been this entire time and I think that's kind of their karmic lesson is to realize that what they're operating from is strategy it is selfishness it's obsession it's a feeling of wanting I'm also hearing there's a quote it's wanting empowers evil so it's like but this person's wanting energy is torn in two because they want you and they want whatever nonsense is going on behind the scenes and they very much want to keep them both separate and I just heard you can't always get what you want but I feel like that state of things of like wanting these two opposing energies it really has put this person at a karmic um I'm seeing the wheel of fortune but it's showing up as like a creepy carnival like ride that wheel the wheel um ferris wheel and but I do it's like a wheel of fortune energy you know that's kind of come up at this crossroads moment that has um, they've kind of manifested this moment for themselves with you where they need to kind of choose but I think this person needs to close this cycle of being shady but this person's being very stubborn about that they didn't want to do that and so because of it I think they kind of ruined things here but this person I feel this kind of for whatever reason it's like they're they're not gonna admit their faults they're not gonna admit their folly they're not gonna acknowledge what you meant to them and how valuable they really think that you are and they don't want to let this go I really feel like this person's trying to mirror your energy they're trying to give you the impression that they're in the same energy like oh yeah like I don't care either they're because you turned your back on this so this person's trying to act like oh yeah I turned my back on this too but in reality this person feels stuck they feel hung up on you they feel stuck in this moment I think this person again was trying to get you to feel stuck on them or to get you to believe in some kind of fairy tale like they were your forever person they were your prince or princess charming and now this person feels that way towards you. Um, they are realizing that here um, towards you, but they're not willing to do anything to honor those feelings. So this person is feeling very heartbroken and they're feeling sad, but this is kind of turning into this like really sour sort of, I just heard sourpuss, <laughs> um, this kind of sour energy and this sour outlook here towards you because this person is like very proud this person's being like proud but it's like they have no reason to kind of like be proud I also have a card here at the bottom of the deck that says I'm seeking revenge and I think the revenge might be this person trying to act like they've moved on or like the, maybe that they have feelings for somebody else I don't know but in reality this person is feeling very ashamed they know that they were wrong they're embarrassed of the way that they were acting and they feel very very guilty here because this person they were trying to keep it from you, but this person really saw you as like their wish fulfillment. They saw you as their forever person. So they were trying to manufacture those feelings in you like by any, by, by trickery, by manipulation, instead of I'm hearing like we could have actually fallen for each other. You're like, we could have actually like had a relationship. We could have actually built something together. That's what this person needed to approach this in like a different sort of an energy. I feel like you took a bite of this apple. Like you found this person to be, um, tempting here as well but it's like you you took a bite of this and then you like spit it out you know um and you feel like you need to close this 
cycle with this person. This person sees that you've bossed up here in some way, that you're looking very strong, you're standing very strong in your energy. Um, you could be very focused on your career here. So yeah, this person just, um, I just want to see like, okay, oh my gosh, we have workplace affair and we have goodbye. Yeah, so this person could have had a workplace affair on you. Or maybe they made you feel like you were a workplace affair, but I feel like most of you, this person like stepped out or they cheated with somebody and it's just a part of a cycle. Yeah, I'm just hearing like it goes round and round and round. This person might have felt like they were triggered here by something, some um, some kind of ending. Yeah, but it's unjustified, whatever this is. It's, it's calling up whatever their lesson. This is somebody who needs to be in some kind of a different energy altogether. But this looks to me like a person who is missing the point of everything that they're going through here. They're not understanding that it's them. They need to be dealing with themselves. They need to be changing themselves. They need to be honorable. They need to be approaching you in the right way. This person is honestly just too proud to admit that they love you and that they wanted something with you and that they're sorry, but this person feels sorry. So this is a very frustrating situation, but I feel like spirit's bringing this to your attention because this person is really wanting to come back around again, but it's, this is so annoying because I feel like this person's gonna try to come back around and act like, oh, like fancy meeting you here. Like they didn't, weren't hoping for this or like maybe even tried to put something together. They're gonna try to make it seem like it's an accident when instead of just being like, I am so sorry for the way things went on. Like I've been dreaming about the day I could tell you how sorry I am. Like I wanna take like some kind of accountability for my actions, regardless of what it is that you choose. And I think that's part of this person can't really let go of your energy because they know that maybe you would turn your back or they just assume that you would turn your back if they were honest, you know, about whatever this is. But I really just feel like this person is um, really just trying to get your attention, but this feels like on an energetic level. Um, maybe they know that you're intuitive. Maybe you guys do share some kind of a connection here. Um, but you are being invited here to close this cycle because this person has been shady and because they're not admitting that they have some kind of toxic, they go around and around in some kind of like toxic lifestyle. So you've got a person here who does have very intense, very strong feelings, but they just don't, um, have like character or like the moral fortitude here. Yeah, I feel like you're fed up. Yeah, you're fed up with this situation and with this person. You've rejected this person. For some of you, this person could have been married. Um, uh, yeah, but you have, you've rejected this person. So let's just see anything else. I'll get a couple more message cards and then we will wrap this up. <clears throat> Even that energy of like my intentions can be selfish at times. It's really like rubbing me the wrong way because it looks to me like this person is entirely selfish. Like this entire situation is literally a monument to how selfish this person is because they want their cake and they want to eat it too. And this person feels entitled to have that instead of feeling like, wow, I really need to fix this. I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. So this person is feeling intensely guilty and intensely ashamed. They're scared of being honest with you. They hide, so they hide their true desires for you. That's the energy of this entire thing. So if you're frustrated with this person, cause you feel like there is a genuine sense of love here. I fell in love the moment I saw you. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Yeah. It's this other thing that gets in the way of this person not being able to own up to who they are. We both need time to heal. The universe is fighting for our souls to be together. I think that's coming from this person. Again, it's rubbing me the wrong way because this is a person, you're fine. You're ready to progress forward. Like if this person was like healthy and well-adjusted, you guys could really make a go of this tomorrow. You're not the person, you're, you're not the person in the wrong here. You're not... At the, I'm not saying that you're perfect, but I'm just saying like this person is woefully behind you. The issue is within this person. I really don't like this sentiment of we both need time to heal and the universe is fighting for our souls together. See how this is just abdicating responsibility. This is just saying, oh, we're twin flames. The soul, the universe is fighting for our souls to be together. There's nothing that I, this person needs to be addressing themselves. Yeah, um, I know what you mean to me. I'm ready to be with only you now. This person needs to be in that energy. I know what you mean to me. I'm not gonna bullshit around. I'm gonna tell you exactly. I'm gonna be very upfront about that. I think that's actually the key to this situation. This person doesn't know how to get your attention or how to get you to believe them. That's the key. They need to say the truth here. They need to be able to own up to their own truth. So this person, they can't own up to their own truth. That's that's who this person is. And I feel like you're you feel like everything is here for you guys to really make a go of it. You don't understand what the big deal is, but it's just that this person cannot own up to their own truth and uh, 
gosh. Yeah. So that's what I have for you guys. This seems like a very frustrating situation. I do feel like you've turned your back though, and you have been focusing on yourself. I do feel like you've been leveling up. You're being encouraged by the universe to stay in that energy um, because you need to close out. Um, you're closing out. Basically, the way the universe wants you to look at this is you're closing out a cycle with a shady person. Um, if this soul wants to come back to you not as a shady person in a completely entirely new energy, then um, in a truthful energy, then this cycle can reopen. But this cycle, the way that it was, and this person being in this energy, the universe is never going to bring the two of you back together. So long as this person is in this energy, they need to start getting real about that. Okay, that's what I have to you, um, for you. If that resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. <laughs>